Mistake number five. Mistake number five is not knowing what the alias field is and how to use it to your advantage. You can find the alias field on articles and menu items, and it usually comes right after the title field. So what it does, it's basically allowing you to control what words are used to create the Ceph URL. So for example, if you have an article that has a very long title, the Ceph URL is also going to be very long because every word in the title will be included inside the URL. So imagine how hard it would be to explain to someone how to access a certain article on your website. So what the alias does is allows you to enter exactly which words you want to include in the Ceph URL. This way you can not only keep the URL short, but also include the relevant keywords inside it. So what you can do is delete the default alias that Joomla creates for you, and then replace it with your own short alias that includes also keywords. 